Hey everybody, Jen here of Gen X Website Design and Strategy, bringing you lots of helpful tips and advice for your Squarespace website, website strategy, and online tech. So earlier this week, I published a rather controversial blog post about why Google isn't indexing Squarespace blog posts. And I claimed to have the answer to that based on the response that I received from Squarespace. And indeed, they did provide a very helpful solution that we all must do, which involves dummy content or placeholder content appearing in our sitemaps. And the dummy text reads the same for every image on every Squarespace website that is having this issue. So the problem, therefore, is that duplicate content on thousands of Squarespace websites is not good for SEO results. I'm going to continue to watch this problem. I can tell you I've made this correction. I have resubmitted my sitemap with Google, and I'll tell you what I'm getting. Discovered, currently not indexed. So this incident came about for me because I installed the new plugin by SEO Space and I've been using it. And when I used it on my blog posts, it told me that my page wasn't indexed. So that's how that all got started. But I have since gone down the rabbit hole and I have actually had a conversation with Henry Purchase, who was so helpful. I was so impressed. I'm really excited for him. And I'm very excited about this incredible tool that we now have available to us. It's so good already in its infancy that I can only imagine how much better it's going to be as it improves and evolves over time. So I definitely recommend that you check this out. In my conversation with Henry, something came up. And so this blog post is going to be about that. Let me explain. Okay, so here we are on my blog post and you can see this little icon down here in the lower right corner. This is the plugin. So when I select it, it's loading my previous scan result. I can rescan, but I literally just scanned this, so I'm not going to. Okay, so a few things come up and I'm not gonna go through every single one. The one that I wanna focus on right now is the SEO title. This is telling me that I'm getting a score of one out of two. Down here, I can see there's a one and a two. So right now I'm on one. You can even select this little info icon and it'll tell you exactly what an SEO title is. Your SEO title is the hyperlinked text that shows up on search engines. It tells both Google and searchers that your web page is relevant to the search query. Not only should this be optimized for SEO, but also to increase click through rates, okay? So you wanna have a good title so that A, Google knows that your content is relevant to people who are looking for it. And B, people who are looking for it are going to be able to find what they're looking for, that it's relevant to their search, to whatever they typed in the search field. So that's what your SEO title is. This is telling me that it's too long. It's 67 characters. Make it between 50 and 60 to follow best practices. Okay, because when it's really long, it actually is going to get cut off, truncated. The second item is that there actually is an SEO title. I'm sorry, I have to laugh a little. Great. You have added an SEO title for this page. Good job. Okay, I've got an SEO title. But let me clarify something here, okay? An SEO title is not the same as this, okay? So... Solution, this is why Google isn't indexing Squarespace blog posts. That's the title, but that's not the SEO title. Let me show you the SEO title. This is the SEO title. It's the title of the blog post plus my site title. So there's two ways that you can fix this. You can either shorten the name of your site title or you can eliminate the site title from the SEO title. So let me show you how to do that. If you want to change your site title, that's simple. You just go into edit and then edit site header and then site title and logo and you change your site title. I did not opt for this because that is my business name and it just doesn't feel right to change it. I opted to eliminate the site title from the blog posts because this, it's not necessary to have that. And the way you do that 
is you actually go into marketing. You're going to go into the marketing tab. You're going to go into SEO appearance. There are three options, home pages and items. A blog post would be an item. Now, I believe that items also include events, products, and galleries. I've searched this, having a difficult time getting a straight answer. I don't have all of those features on my website. To the extent that our concern right now is getting our blog posts indexed by Google so that people can find us. One thing we can do to help ourselves is shorten our SEO titles by removing our site title from it. So come down to SEO title format and just delete this. You can see how it's just disappeared from here. Let me show you. Now you see it. Now you know. And I'm going to save this. You're going to notice that when you share your blog posts now, that site title has been eliminated from the SEO title. So it kind of looks better too. This should not hurt you at all because people who find you through your blog posts, they're not necessarily looking for your business. So for example, if somebody goes on Google and they want to know why their Squarespace blog posts are not being indexed by Google, they might just put it in general search and then my blog post would pop up. They weren't looking for me. They were just looking for an answer. So while I have not deleted my site title from my homepage or my internal pages, deleting it from my blog post SEO titles is not going to hurt anything from an SEO perspective. I hope you guys found that helpful. If you did, give this video a like, please. If you know anyone who you think could use some help with this, share this video with them. Subscribe to my channel. And most of all, have fun with your Squarespace website.